This week on The Spotlight, part two of my new Brazilian best friend, Andre Rienzo. And then we start flashing back to Derek Lee, the very fine Chicago Cub. What a hitter and class dude he was. And then we flash back some more. Neil Kotz played for the championship White Sox and the Cubs, too. And then we flash back even more. You know that, man. The Big Hurt. This week. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, this is the 23rd year of the Lansing Floral Sports Spotlight. Flowers for every imaginable occasion at Lansing Floral Shop. Call them at 708-474-1212. They deliver. You've got to get to Kelly's Tavern. Benkowski Trivia, Friday, August 16th, and again on the 30th at 8 p.m. Come out and play. Bring friends. 44th and Wallace. It's great fun. You will have a good time at Kelly's on Wallace. Want to get a haircut from a great hairstylist? Call mine, Rose Marillo, 312-726-2201. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more, dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huckfin is open. Demitas Coffee Shop is an excellent place to go at 1066 West Taylor, just off the UIC campus. Breakfast, lunches, mochas, lattes, cappuccino, tea, baked goods, superb French toast, great chicken salad. Open Tuesday through Sunday for breakfast and lunch. Great staff. Demitas Coffee Shop on Taylor. Dave McLean's got some antiques for you. You better stop at 2716 West 111th Street in Mount Greenwood. 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., or do you call it Beverly? Six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Always buying and selling quality antiques, art, silver, coins, vintage bicycles, great wholesale prices. Dave McLean Antiques. Sam and Sons Jewelers offer custom-made jewelry at 10640 South Cicero. You can buy, sell, trade, repair, and restyle. They have certified loose diamonds and gemstones. Sam and Sons Jewelers, easy to reach at 10640 South Cicero. You've got to get to Amelia's Bar and Grill. It's right over there at 46th and Halsted. Open for lunch and dinner daily, private parties and catering, a unique mixture of fine dining and Mexican specialties with the fabulous chef Eusebio Garcia. Some amazing creations. You'll be surprised and delighted at Amelia's Bar and Grill, 46th and Halsted. We're back on the spotlight. Just a single hit of White Sox this week, and it's going to be part two of our Brazilian tribute. Mr. Rienzo talked to us for a really long time and seemed to enjoy being interviewed, and his English was good enough, in my opinion, and you can assess it too. And when you come see me at Trivia, tell me what you thought. So anyway, here's part two of our newest guy on the White Sox in terms of Brazilian pitchers. And a uh, real interesting guy. You can do it. Well, two things come to mind because of that. One of them is you worked so hard to get to this point. You were going to hold on tight to this opportunity, and you're going to make the best of it. I tried to hug the opportunity, you know, try to hug and <laughs> stay with me. <laughs> no, please, no fly away. And I try, I try my best to stay here. I go try my best to stay here and to, uh, to show um, I, can, um, I can help the team a little bit. Um, but that's depend the boss, you know. The boss, the boss, they have decision to make up now and stay or not. So I hope the boss like what he see and give him more chance for me. Well, as long as you're getting hitters out, you will stay. <laughs> if you keep doing what you're doing, there will not be a problem. The other thing that comes to mind, uh, you know, when you talk about this, is uh, you, you look at your teammates, people you've played with in the minor leagues. Who are the guys on the team that you know the best that you, you kind of came up with, maybe? Cornejo, man. Corneco, yeah, I watch Corneco uh, play in Brazil. Uh, me and my brother, my brother's a big fan, and I'm kind of embarrassed to tell Corneco get a picture with them, you know, because but uh, people know a lot of Corneco in Brazil, now say, you know, say big name done, 
I think everybody here is being named. The low name is I am. <laughs> it's, well, uh, not for long. <laughs> but it's everybody here, man. I, 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 I'm glad to play with each player in the room and have the opportunity to play the guys. Um, I think our guys here is huge and a huge experience for me. Did you tell Kaneko that you were a fan of his growing up? No, I don't have the chance. You know, I'm kind of embarrassed on something. Uh, I'll tell him for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You make, make that favor for me, please. Yeah, I, I, no problem. I will do this immediately. I, I'm older than him, you know. He, <laughs> I can say, hey, let me tell you, explain something to you. Uh, to finish up, uh, you, you were saying that you have confidence in your fielders. And, you know, when you pitch, you, they will make the play for you. And now I want to talk about the hitting. Because um, you were not here early in the year, when, and the hitting has not been so good. And there are good players, but it seems like they, they're not where they should be. And they're scoring two runs a game, three runs a game. It seems like every game is just such a fight, you know, to, to win by one run. Uh, what do you do in these situations? Does it change how you pitch or not? Of course, uh, the, the players use unbelievable players. Uh, I believe in my defense. I believe in the offense, too. And the guys, uh, if the guys make two runs, I think the pitchers try to, to get a one, you know, win two one or something there. But the guys here is unbelievable guys, unbelievable names, unbelievable lineup. You see yesterday, great game, you know, oh, you see a lot of hits. And it, it, there is the team watching the TV, and I know. And I always think the same side. I always, I think the, the team is the same page, and I was in the same size. If hitting don't do well, it's no hitting foul. It's all the team foul. If the pitching don't do well, it's no the pitching foul. It's all the team foul. Um, I think that make a big, big team we together and play together and, and let's see I, I, ho I, I have some feeling good, good times coming I agree with that two last questions um, when you think about being from Brazil um, do you have extra excitement that Brazil has won the, uh, the Olympics they are going to go to the Olympics in 2016 did you have certain pride about this? Yes, yeah, sir. I think the Olympics and World Cup coming in Brazil. The boat is in Brazil. I think it's huge, uh, huge progress for Brazil. Unfortunately, the Olympics take off the baseball. No, have more baseball. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. That is bad. But it's still a huge, uh, huge, uh, huge event for Brazil, and I, I, I hope Brazil represent uh, well on the, the world and show, uh, show Brazil have a good things too. Oh, here, here's a little tidbit I can give you. You might not know this. Your manager won a gold medal at the Olympics. In Jura? Yeah, he won for, uh, in Seoul, Korea. He won Baseball USA gold. So I, I tell him, you want to see his gold medal. He will no, be, he'll down. be surprised you know this because the Olympics were held the year you were born. Yes, sir. <laughs> so he, he would be surprised you know this, okay? Yeah, I, I, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. Right, bounce that off him. And then the last thing I want to ask you, there is a very famous song that I enjoy uh, in, the, in the music that played on the radio called The Girl from Ipanema. Do you, do, you, do, do, you, do you know about this? Yes, sir. This is a beach? Ipanema is a beach in Brazil, in Rio. In, uh, and beautiful beach. Uh, I think the song is no, no new, right? It's a low, old song, awesome. but it's sung a lot in Brazil before, and a lot of people know. And it's, it's beautiful beach in Brazil, man. Yeah. Okay. Well, fi finally, we've come full circle. We have met a, a pitcher from Brazil, and he knows the girl from Ipanema. He was watching her on the beach, <laughs> and we're going to watch for him to not strike everybody out. But uh, maybe get a couple of ground outs on two pitches. Yes, sir. This is good, right? Yes, sir. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome Appreciate to Chicago. It. Thank you. Appreciate it, sir. Okay. Thank you. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the no reason flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. You've got to get to Kelly's Tavern. You'll have a good time. I'm cracking up thinking about it. Benkowski Trivia, 44th and Wallace, August 16th and August 30th at 8 p.m. Come out and play. Bring your friends. It's fun. Kelly's Tavern, 44th and Wallace. See you over there. Since 1967, El Jardin has been serving the finest Mexican food. Before, after, or during ball games, located conveniently just three blocks south of Wrigley Field, 3335 North Clark. 
Whether there's a game or not, you still get hungry, and El Hardin has great service, great food, and great drinks. I've enjoyed every meal I've had there, and you will too. So get to El Hardin for great Mexican food at 3335 North Clark Street in Chicago. You'll be glad you did. You've got to call Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. Lowest price is new and used. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Call 773-908-6081. They do windshields, back windows, and sides. They did a great job for me, and they will do a great job for you. Cornelio's Mobile Auto Glass. Calabria Imports. Great Italian foods. Great deli. 773-996-5800. They have catering. They have sandwiches. You can go over to 1905 West 103rd Street, a great array of foods. Last time I got myself some Italian sausage and other things at Calabria Imports. The pride of Illinois State, Neil Cotts, may be in late inning situations against David Ortiz of Boston, and he talks about playoff pressure and the postseason. As a guy who grew up in Illinois, do you have a feel for how the fans might have felt as the Indians got closer to you? There's a certain, I don't want to say Chicago paranoia, but you know, with no World Series championships in a frightening amount of time, there's, there's always this, this feeling that the bottom's going to fall out. Can you relate to that uh, when you were in the fan? Uh, I grew up in Southern Illinois, so I watch the Cardinals all the time. But I mean, just, I, I mean, it's, they, they're playing the ball and they're, they got closer. And, um, it's just a desire that the fans want us to win, just as bad as we want to go out there and win. And so, I mean, it, they're just they're just trying to help us along. Uh, is it is it funny to you when you read accounts of, you know, here it goes again and that kind of stuff? Because there, there there was some fairly negative press uh, for a, for a, I don't know, week, ten days, two weeks. To be honest with you, I read the paper in six months. So I don't even read about us. If I read, I read about other sports. And it's just the way I am. I don't. I would prefer not to read it, good or bad. How about when you talk about being new to uh, the intensity of this, can you liken it to, to any championship pursuit at any other level you played at, like uh, like high school or, or college? Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, in college, I mean, we, we were never on really uh, a really winning team. I mean, I, high school, I guess we were on some winning teams, but I mean, I mean there's nothing better than what's going on right now. I mean, us, us and Cleveland going at it, I mean, it's been... In fun two days. How how do you feel you yourself? How do you deal with the extra pressure? Is, is there any change in your regimen? And you know how do you how do you stop from being too jacked up? Well, I mean you got to calm yourself down, obviously. But uh, I mean it's I mean you're either going to go out there, you do try to do the same thing you've done all year long, and it's either going to work or it's not going to work. Some days it's going to work, some days it's not. So I mean you can't put too much pressure on yourself because you'd rather go out there and. Do what you've been doing, and if you get beat, you get beat, rather than adding an extra element and putting pressure on yourself and not making a pitch or doing something dumb that that uh, you beat yourself. When you go into those situations, sixth, seventh, eighth inning, do you you need to throw a strike? Do you need to get a batter out? What what gets you over the top from being like in that in that mode? I mean, I, this year compared to last year. I mean, last year I'd be real fired up and I mean even this year a couple times the last even not this series but the last couple weeks I've been trying to do a little too much and I mean it I try to help myself but sometimes just the catcher just putting their hands up telling me to slow down or stuff like that just because you get out there and you, you want to do sometimes you want to do too much or make the perfect the pitch more perfect than you need to make it or stuff like that that then you end up missing and you get hurt. So. Can you Look ahead a little bit and say, I mean, this is the way I think, and I don't know if there's fan left in me after many years of reporting, but would a real nice scenario be to, to clinch just before you go back into Cleveland so to, to reduce the meaning of those games? I mean, I think it would be clinching as soon as possible would be, be the best situation for us. I mean, we've, I mean, we haven't been as good as we were the first half. We've been playing pretty good ball, and I mean, just to go out there and play hard these last couple weeks and clinch as soon as possible. If we do clinch before we go into Cleveland, it would be great. But if not, just play it to the end and see how it goes. I mean, if whatever happens, happens. You know, as long as we go out there and we play like we played the last two days, I think we shouldn't have any problem.
to wrap up, I, I think this question I could ask of you or maybe Creedy or Burley as well, and, uh, you know, maybe Cliff. But uh, I've known Tony LaRusso for a long time, and I, I talked to him a few days ago. And, and he said he could not deny that a World Series against the White Sox would be something he'd, he'd enjoy on many levels, is the way he described it. Uh, would that be a little extra meaningful to you, given who you rooted for as a kid? Well, of course, growing up, you know, Tony minutes outside of St. Louis, I mean, it would be a little special, you know, going back and forth between St. Louis and here, but I mean, that's, that's a little ways off. I mean, but 4C, I mean, if that would, if that would happen, I mean, granted, it would be great. I mean, I've never even been on the field there, so I mean, it would be a totally different experience. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta, great donuts, and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero, stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Little Frank's Pizzeria and Bar, Thursday, Buck 50 Miller Old Style. And of course, my trivia games alternate Thursdays, the next one, August 15th at 8 p.m. You know they have $12 large pizza and pitcher all day, every day? Easy to reach at 79th and Narragansett. Check out Little Frank's, you'll be glad you did. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. Thus, tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. To wrap up the Cubs season, I couldn't think of anybody better to ask than Derek Lee, who's put together just a, a fine year. And, you know, I, I wish you the best in your batting title pursuits. Uh, some great numbers this year. Uh, it's, it's probably been a little bit of frustrating for you, though, to play as well as you have and have the team be close but not quite. Well, yeah, it's always frustrating when, uh, you know, as a team, we don't meet our goals, and our goal is to be in the playoffs. So, uh, you know, it's tough when we don't do that. Uh, you know, we felt we had the team to do it. Obviously, there were some obstacles that, that we had this season and we just weren't able to overcome. Well, for yourself, you know, you got off to a hot start and have sustained. I mean, what, what has been the key to this season for you to, to keep such a pace going, you know, right on into the final week? I would just say well, it would be consistent, you know. I, I, for the first time in my career, probably, I got off to a good start, and I was able to maintain it, you know, uh, just really concentrated on making the right adjustments and, uh, you know, not letting myself fall off. Was there ever a point in the year where, where you, it was almost beyond your own capacity to say, wow, I'm, I'm, I am just tearing up the National League? Uh, not at all. You know, once I had a good start, I felt like, you know, I, I, I typically play well in the summer. So I felt like once I had the good April and May, I could sustain it. Um, I, that was my main focus, getting off to a good start and kind of allowing myself to put up some numbers. Did Jim Hendry or anybody in the Cub organization say that, you know, they saw this in you? Because, I mean, quite frankly, the, the, the trade to acquire you looks like the steal right now. <laughs> Well, uh, no one said anything to me, but, uh, you know, I felt myself that I, I had the ability to put up big numbers. Um, you know, I felt I've had good seasons in the past, but uh, like I said, getting off to a good start kind of took me to another level in numbers. You guys were competitive and mathematically alive up until, you know, I'd say roughly three weeks ago. What, was there a turning point in the year for you guys, or, or, or did you think was the injury thing was just too much to overcome? I can't say. Well, the, the last eight-game losing streak we had was you know, made, made the season tough on us. But, uh, you know, we were a little bit too up and down. We'd win three, lose three type of thing. We kind of hovered around 500 most of the season. So we didn't, we didn't have any room for a losing streak like we had, I think it was in August. Um, so we're just a little bit too inconsistent. To wrap up, what encourages you about 06, um, besides your own play, that, that makes you think you guys will be back? Well, you just look on this roster and the talent we have. Um, 
we can if we can keep guys healthy and on the field for 162 games, you know, get get all of our pitchers 30 starts. Um, then you look at a guy like Matt Merton. Uh, to me, you know, this is a great young player who has a chance to do great things in this game. Ronnie Cedeno, you know, we just have the pieces, um, and, and, and we're relatively young, um, so the pieces are there. It's just a matter of putting them together. Well, I, I want to congratulate you for an MVP type season, and just I, on behalf of fans and reporters. Uh, thank you for being the role model kind of guy that you've been, and uh, I hope you're here for a long time. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. All right. He was a great second baseman for the Cubs and other teams, and now he's a minor league instructor for the White Sox, trying to give a little bit perspective and keep the players from getting too nervous. What, did you, when you played, did you, was there relaxing techniques you used, you know, to do the way you thought, the way you prepared, yeah. that kept you from, you know, pressing and trying too hard in a game? No, uh, I, I was always the guy that I, I, I didn't show the emotions. Uh, I mean, I always was quiet, and, uh, and my style to play ball, it was kind of more relaxing. And uh, I just went out there to do my best. I don't, I just want to put pressure on the other team. I don't put pressure on myself. Well, that's a fresh approach. I, I hope you can bring the way you think to this team in the, in the final week here. I can tell you this from Cub fans' point of view. Uh, you were very much enjoyed as a player. And one of the things they like best, and me too, is after you pick up a ball at second base, you kind of hold it for a little <laughs> while and let the guy <laughs> churn a little bit faster and then flip it over real hard. Uh, and that was a fun thing. And it, it showed how much you loved the game and could have fun with it too. Well, uh, uh, I didn't want to show up the guy. It was my style to play ball. And, uh, and I always think that if I'm playing second base and first base is right there, why should I hurry? So I would take my time to throw the ball. Right. But I know that's, that was my style. It was one of my my real uh, uh, moments to relax. You know, this, it was, it, I enjoy getting ground balls and I have the baseball in my hand and throw the ball, either throw it or catch it. I mean, it was, that was, I want to be in ball and everything. That's, that's part of the game. It's fun. I'll ask you one last question. You look at the American League now, uh, the Angels, the Yankees, Indians, Boston are involved. I think Oakland's not going to make it. Uh, assess, assess who you think is the toughest in there and, and who might be a, a pretty good matchup for the White Sox. Well, first, I think they're all tough because they're all right there anyway. But uh, I don't know, watching, seeing uh, Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland has a little, uh, it's a good team. They, they can hit the ball. Uh, Anaheim's a, uh, they also have a good power hitters, and their bullpen is good too. Uh, yeah. But uh, I believe they all they all are tough. I don't I don't I'm not gonna say that we're gonna take any team for granted anyway. But uh, I just hope uh, now we know we're gonna get there, and I just hope we can beat all that. But they're all gonna be tough. Well, well we wish you all the best, and uh, I hope some of your uh, your students uh, make the major league roster next year. Oh, I believe me, they will. I eat on the pasta twice just... Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria at Grand and Racine is the place to go before United Center Pavilion, Bulls, Hawks, Cubs and Sox too. Dine in or carry out with great family recipes, including homemade pastas, steaks, seafood, a great fun bar area. Meet people. Have a tremendous time at Salerno's Restaurant and Pizzeria, Grand and Racine. You'll find a great variety of foods for you to enjoy at Salerno's. I'm Joe elbows sandwich shop is new they got good stuff open 11 a.m monday through saturday italian beef sausage meatball steak sandwiches parmesan soups italian subs salads at 6316 archer right around mobile elbows sandwich shop really good stuff reggie's is a great place with tons of music interesting people and staff great food and drink at 21st and state and amongst the cool things they have Benkowski Trivia, the next one, August 19th at 7 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. Hey, check out Beefies, a neighborhood tradition since 1987. Besides the Italian beef, they got a famous chicken sub. They got the double cheese. You can dine in and carry out. It's at 58th and Harlem. A lot of good things going on, a pretty extensive menu at Beefies, 58th and Harlem, Check it out. Pat, congratulations on your 1,000 TV show. 
Uh, you've been great for the game of baseball and sports in general, and I salute you and congratulate you. And the Northsiders, like I said, legitimate 2007 contenders here on Show 1000. In a calm but forceful way, Lou Pinella has redefined the way the Cubs players view themselves. Instead of the superstitious, pee-on-the-hands, bat-corking crew that we used to know, lose guys fundamentally sound. If you play hard and you hit, you'll be in the lineup. I still think about the suicide squeeze bunt against the White Sox that was so perfectly executed. Alfonso Soriano galloping around left field, Aramis Ramirez and Derek Lee making diving plays on the corners. Lou Pinella seemingly has these guys all on the same page with guidelines like, you can steal on one of four pitches. No risk about a sign being stolen there. The players have to think for themselves, and if they think well, they play. In the 1992 NBA Finals, the Bulls KO'd Portland and saw action at the stadium with Michael Jordan, a dominant factor. First quarter hero, though, with a little help and a wacky pass from Michael Jordan, was Horace Grant, who already had 11. The Bulls would go up by nine at the half, thanks to intense defense by Scott Williams and the jump shooting of Jordan, who was hot again. But a big second half comeback by Portland was led by Kevin Duckworth with the left hand. They were just down by three, but the Bulls went on a 12-3 run. Bobby Hansen's three-pointer put the Blazers in trouble again. Cliff Robinson, tough inside, helped Bill Cartwright foul out midway through the fourth, but watch Horace Grant. And he, with the rejection, embarrasses Kevin Duckworth. And it must have been even more demoralizing to see Stacey King with the hook and the Bulls go on to win handily. Harold Baines was on our show, and it's hard to get him to talk. One hour in Blue Island. Ironically, Baines, he blasted White Sox management for jacking around Kenny Williams and sending him to the minors instead of letting him become a center fielder. Jay Hilgenberg represents 16 consecutive Bears we interviewed in late 88, most of them Super Bowl champions. Mike Ditka, greatly missed. He was tense at times, but also funny. But after 1992, not that much fun interviewing the Bears coach. The Bears, of course, had some playoff difficulties, but here against New Orleans, the fans got into the fun of pelting the Saints fans. In 1990, in overtime, Jim Harbaugh finds Neil Anderson in the slot position for a 60-yard game-winning score, and Neil talks about it. He takes it on it, and uh, it was a great throw from him, and all I had to do was catch it. So I had the easy part. You, you know, we talked to Ron Rivera, and we, you yeah. up mm -hmm. we asked Rivera if that was the biggest interception of his career. He said yes. How would this rank among your receptions in your career? Oh, it's got to be big. I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's a great. Anytime you can be in overtime and come out uh, with the plate, it uh, wins the ball game. you got to be happy about it. Hi, I'm Jenny Dobrovolsky from the Chicago White Sox, manager of Park Operations Administration. Congratulations, Pat Benkowski, on your 1,000th show. Congratulations, Pat, 1,000 shows. That means you've been around a long time. I think I've seen most of them. Good luck, buddy, in the future. Bye. Jack Desmond's Irish Pub has Benkowski Trivia Wednesday, August 21st at 8 p.m. $10 domestic buckets on Wednesday. It's at 10339 South Ridgeland. Have fun at Jack Desmond's. This week's show has been brought to you by the Lansing Floral Shop. Call for your flowers at 708-474-1212. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Imprint Graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing, 708-396-1010.